We assume that an oil rig incident has led to a massive oil spill in Monterey Bay. How can ad hoc raster data retrieval, processing, and filtering help relief forces? Satellites monitor the oil spill area and deliver us frequently updated contamination views. Relief forces require manifold information. Contamination maps for some particular day. For a given location, contamination change over time. Global change detection. For example, detect areas not contaminated on day X, but on day Y. Find phenomena of interest, such as particularly heavy contamination. The Web Coverage Processing Service, or WCPS, standard accomplishes this by allowing ad hoc extraction and analysis of multidimensional data, such as XYT time series cubes. WCPS is a high-level query language which can piggyback on both the WCS and WPS protocol. The demo scenario makes use of a server offering oil spill contamination data provided in a raster database. Clients can visually inspect results, although automatic post-processing is an option too. In our scenario, the WPS protocol is used to transport the WCPS queries. The detailed service stack consists of a PostgreSQL database holding the pixel data, the RASDAMIN server evaluating raster queries, and the Petascope component receiving WCPS requests via WPS. In our first demo, we retrieve contamination map of the Monterey Bay on the certain day of the spill by slicing the data on the time axis at a time zero and request that the response is shipped back in PNG format. Similarly, our second demo slices the data in both X and Y axes and requests that the response is in CSV format. Therefore, we drill through time at a certain position in the data. The response indicates how contaminated the point is in time. The third demo shows all the areas which have either medium or heavy oil spill contamination between a certain range of days. For instance, between day 21 and day 34, as it is shown in the demo query. The query in demo 4 returns any area which has been contaminated at least once throughout the period of the spill and returns the result in PNG format. For the fifth demo, we display areas which might have been contaminated on a certain day, say day 22, and are not contaminated on some other day say day 12 of the spill. This condition can be varied according to the processing need of the client. For instance, the query is adjusted such that it returns areas contaminated on both days 22 and 12. The next set of queries deals with data statistics and aggregation. For instance, in demo 6, the size of the area which has been contaminated at least once during the spill is computed. Furthermore, Demo 7 computes and returns in CSV format the size of the area which is contaminated per day over a period of the oil spill. In this sample query, the period is shown to be between the 0 and 40th day. We present a scenario in Demo 8 whereby we assume that high, medium, and light contaminated areas have 30, 20, and 10 units of oil per unit area, and using these variables, we compute the size of the oil spill on a certain day. These scenarios exemplify the results achieved in OWS8, versatile time series processing of imagery, Interoperability between a Rasdaman server and a Pixies client, instrumental for future services, will be the coverage conformance testing suite established, which exercises systems under test down to pixel level. Homogenous fast access to 2D, 3D, 4D, and 5D datasets coming from a variety of sources like satellite imagery, climate and ocean data, and radar data. 
All this work is of high importance given the coverage services are the next great wave in geo-service technology. We definitely need more robust standards and reference implementations. Work isn't done though. Findings have to be phased into the current activity of, establi of establishing WCS 2.1. Several new specifications are underway, such as CRS handling, several format encodings, and WPS coverage processing. These need to be finalized and brought to adoption to get us closer to the overall goal, any size coverage analytics, anytime, anywhere.